Greetings and salutations. It's your boy E. Boom for LLE Ascension, aka LLE Astrology, aka LLE Terror. We back and uh, definitely hitting y'all with this Two Flames and Union reunion and recognition reading. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's about that time. Yeah, I mean, um, like I said, I feel a lot of twins got in the union past week. Or maybe yesterday. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, I got a reunion yesterday. You know what I'm saying? I'll talk more about it in the in the, in the in the feminine and the masculine situations and shit. It's a lot in the twin flames and separation reading, but yeah, bro. Reunion, bro. January. We got a union February last year. You know what I'm saying? Starting to see a pattern here. <laughs> But uh, it was cool, man. I got to kick on my twin and shit. Uh, you know, pick right back up where we left off. Literally. But like I say, I'm going to save that shit. I'm going to save that shit for the other reason. So, it's been a while since I did one of these. <laughs> so, we're just going to get with it. Uh, twin Flames and Union Reunion Recognition. Once again, this reading is for... People who just found out who their twin is and they're in recognition. Like you recognize, even if you ain't got that certified stamp that this is your twin or not, you're still trying to figure that out. You know what I'm saying? This reading's for you. It's for twins like myself who just got a reunion. You know what I mean? I got a reunion yesterday, man. Like I say, how it works is recognition that happens first. You know what I'm saying? Then union happens. And then reunion happens. You know what I mean? It's shit, all the separations in between. Recognition, union, and reunion. So to put it in my example, uh, man, my twin, I would say, like I said, 212, uh, 214, I came out the bag on him, you know what I'm saying? Uh, went through our first separation period after two years of recognition. A um, lot of back and forth shit um, for years. Yeah, I mean, uh, reunited a few times, but it really wasn't like official tissue. You know what I'm saying? February 2018, after seven, going on eight years, we got in the union. Immediately following union, you know what I'm saying? It was just a, a badass separation, you know what I'm saying? Ten months, which stopped as of yesterday. You know what I'm saying? I got a call, chatted, and I'm seeing them, you know, like I say, catching up. It's awesome sauce. Um, like I say, it's a whole other story. I'll get into it when I get into it. So, uh, a lot of interesting stuff been happening. You know what I'm saying? With me, pretty sure with you guys. So, just gonna see what's up. I know you're like, damn, now you, you know what I'm saying? You get, <laughs> you get, you get with your twin, now you wanna do these and shit. Like, yo. Know. What's up to this shit? Hard, man. You know what I mean? Like I said I can do it now, but easier to do this shit now, being back in reunion with my twin, than it was doing this shit in deep, deep, deep separation. Let's get to the reason. <coughs> Overall energy. You got two major swords here. Swords are all about the mind, decisions, direction, thoughts, mentality, things of that sort. First card is the death card, tennis swords. This is going between, I'll take a say, Twins who just came into recognition, twins who just got in reunion, and twins who just got in union. Death. Death happened last week. That's carrying back on this week, or death is kind of like a a pivot point for you and your twin at this point. It's a place where you both can A for a line, A for agree, and head. It's like like Ace of Swords is the first thought, the first direction. It's only one direction be going and that's up. It's pointing up. What's up, guys? What's up, right? Okay. Ten of Swords plus Ace of Swords is the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords is out here. And this isn't in regards to the masculine. This is weird because my masculine just out of death. You know what I'm saying? He lost his sister. Uh, his oldest. I think it's the only his only sister. Oldest person in their family passed at 77. Um, you know, so we talked about, you know, funeral and that funeral and death. You know what I mean? It really, it really hit my twin heart. 
I mean, we're talking now. I just, you know what I mean? I just think, like, honestly, you know what I'm saying? Like, death. You know what I mean? Post death. That's why the Knight of Swords is you moving, uh, you making decisions without crossing your T's and dying your eyes in fear. You know what I mean? Of course, fear is the step A for after the Ten of Swords. You know what I mean? You just lost somebody, your sister, your mother, your brother, the love of your life, your dog, whatever. It's fucked up. It's the A for step after the Ten of Swords. It's the Knight of Swords. That's why it's a J. That's why it's a Jack. It's the divine energy. Why is it divine energy? Because, like I say, you gotta go past death. There's life A for after death. You know what I'm saying? No. Took a new year. And a death for like my masculine to kind of reach back out. Major changes. I went through a death last year too. You know what I mean? And shit kind of ain't been the same since. But death has been a prevalent song. Like I said, 2019 was the year of a lot of death. I think everybody lost somebody last year. Like everybody lost somebody last year. You know what I'm saying? And we're all moving on from our deaths, life after death. We still got to survive and be strong. And, you know what I mean? For the people who ain't here. We still got to be on our purpose. Bottom line. Three of ones. We got to be on our purpose for the ones who ain't here. We got to take care of the people who the people who ain't here can't take care of anymore. Like, you know what I mean? It's life after death. And it's good, bad, and ugly. You know, one lesson or one mentality you and the masculine feminine are really starting to understand, are really starting to get some insight on is how even death, like if you can overcome death, you can overcome anything in life. That's the overall energy. I'm saying that shit two times. If you can overcome death, you can overcome anything in life. Life is to be lived. You know, death is, is to be recognized, but not mourned. They're in a better place. They're in a whole other dimension. They're in a whole other point in the space and time. You know what I'm saying? We're really going to be eventually. You know what I mean? Everybody's time is is allocated in a way. You know what I mean? Like I say, if there's one thing, there's one thing is going to happen to a human being, we're all going to die. But even through death, we live on. One thing that's gonna, at least a download that's gonna be implanted in both of y'all heads, is how eternal this shit is. I told you, this twin flame shit is divine. This shit is eternal. You're gonna see your twin after death. This shit is forever. This shit ain't just right now. We've had many lives prior to this one. You know what I mean? We've seen our twins in my personal opinion I would say more than two three times prior to this time we've done this shit a few times maybe not on earth maybe in another place you know what the matter is this shit is eternal if that isn't being recognized if, like if your masculine hasn't recognized that yet feminine he will if you haven't recognized that yet feminine you will say no ordinary love Bottom line, we got three of wands. That's purpose. That's passion. This is also the divine feminine's role. Once again, divine feminine. You are the leader of this expedition here. For those like myself who just got back in reunion with their twin, like reunited with their twin. For those who just got in union with their twin. For those who just found out that they have a twin. Know, two things, bottom line, this is very important that we have to do as twins. Masculine, it's your job to let the divine feminine shine. I told you, this is the three of wands. This is the divine feminine's role. This is the lighthouse shining at a dock, bringing ships in to land. This is a light in a mist of darkness. You know, this is. You know, a ladder out of a crab bucket, ladder out of a, you know, the exit out the matrix, you know what I'm saying? The underground railroad through slavery, you know what I mean? 
Feminine Feminine. It's your job, our job on the feminine, to lead the way. Do not expect your masculine to do this. You're only going to hurt yourself. The masculine is still trying to figure this shit out, quite honestly. And you need to be more anchored and ten toes down on what the fuck this is. Because this is the way to union. Step after the three of wands is the four of wands. That's union. That's reunion. That's recognition. That's home. That's Zion. You know, bottom line, feminine, you got to lead. You got to explore. You got to expand. You got to evolve. You got to step your game up. Aside from that, we got the Knight of Cups here. This is the Romeo card. Or the J for Juliet card, but this is juvenile energy. You know what I mean? Your purpose is going to make you a, a mature juvenile energy. You know what I mean? It's like when you on purpose, three of wands, you want to when you're on your job, you're leading the way for people like your masculine and other people to see the light. It's like. <laughs> You're not Romeo anymore, you Rome. You're not Juliet anymore, you Jules. You know what I'm saying? It's like you really becoming a good model citizen for a person in life. That's to be on their purpose and on their business, and then Knight of Cups is also putting your whole heart into some shit. Feminine, you gotta put your whole heart into your purpose. Why? For the sake of yourself and your masculine. Like, I just got in a reunion yesterday, G. Like, I got to step my shit all the way up. Especially the shit my master was talking. Like I say, he was paying attention. He stopped fucking with me for a reason. Nigga had to take a break. You know what I mean? He had to breathe with some Tony Braxton shit. He back, ready to rock. What's the plan? <laughs> Son, <laughs> what you want? What's, you know what I mean? Like, what do you have your heart into? You know what I mean? Like I say, don't think for a second. Bottom line, don't think for a second. That your masculine don't know what your passions are. Or your masculine don't know what you want in life. Or your masculine don't know what you want for the demo. You know what I mean? The point of the matter is, it's just not going with a few things. And them things you're just going to have to accept. And, like I said, whatever happens, don't lose that love for the purpose. Or lose that love for this twin flame demonstration. You got to respect it at all times. And you're going to have to really be passionate about moving this relationship forward. If I didn't elevate three of wands to evolve, if I didn't elevate my twin flame situation from just a, a platonic friendship to what it is now, it wouldn't be what it is now. It's one thing me and my master have talked about too a lot was you know he, <laughs> it feels like with the Twin Flame shit, that it's what I say is so. And there's nothing else other than that. Ultimately, overall energy is only one right way. I'm only going about this Twin Flame demo with me and my twin in the right way. You know what I mean? And a lot of shit in our situation is dead. Like, there's a lot of dead ends in our uh, Twin Flame situation. I'm not going to go into it, but we all got dead ends. We all got places your masculine is not going to go with you. Or things your masculine is not going to consent to. Or, you know what I mean? Like that type of shit. So, you know. You know, part of what my masculine was saying was just like I said, you um, You just. Just let me know what it is, what it ain't, what the fuck it's going to be. Which is cool. But I'm the feminine. You know what I'm saying? I'm the one leading this expedition. So. I'm going to let him know what the fuck it is and what the fuck it ain't and what it's going to be. I respect he's even, like, adding input, communicating, you know, wants to kind of guide this in a certain way. But once again, feminine, you cannot let your masculine take the wheel. It will drive you right into a wall. They don't know how to drive. They just see you drive and think they can do your job better than you. Probably given your performance. <laughs> Probably give me your performance. Coming into this reading, the wine feminine, we have the full card. It's a lot of shit you didn't know or don't know and finding out now. Full card. You're not stupid for not knowing things. It's just foolish not knowing things. 
it's like I said, you, you think you got your twin figured out? You don't. Your twin got you figured out? Nah, he ain't got me figured out. Your twin got you kind of figured out. You know, somebody in the loop, somebody ain't in the loop. Feminine, you ain't in the loop. It's a lot of shit you're not aware of, and it's making you look more juvenile. You know what I mean? As of ours, more mature about your situation that you seem to be Ray Charles to right now. You know, like you can't see it. Um, put more smoke on this full part. You got the nine of swords. Losing sleep, losing teeth, losing hair, losing weight the wrong way. And it's kind of like stress. You know. Coming to the situation feminine, it's like you kind of stress because you are unaware of something. Full card is also unaware, being unaware. You're obviously unaware of something and it's got you kind of mentally in a in disarray. You know? Like you are enjoying the moment, you're loving what's transpiring, especially in the past couple days. But it's almost like you out the loop. You, know? you out the loop about something around you or something in your life or something you mentally trying to figure out. And it's like you're stressing yourself not knowing the demonstration. It's the equivalent of like, I don't know, normal shit. You feel something more you, like a lump of something, you know what I mean? And it might be something major or it might be not major at all. It might be something slight, but it's like, you know, you're going to have to go check that out ASAP. Um, it's like I say, it's a crazy ass respiratory flu going around here. Yo ass coughing like a motherfucker. And you didn't think you caught some cooties or some shit around here. You know what I'm saying? Because it was like a particular person you dealt with that it's like you want coughing until you start dealing with this person type shit. You know what I'm saying? This is if you got like an outside demo. Um, as far as demo with two of your twin, it's just like, like I said, it's like when y'all get sick, you probably get sick for a minute and you wonder why the fuck you sick. Coughing. Like your mask ain't been around. You deal with your mask line and it's just like y'all do the dirty, do dirty. And it's like, yo ass ain't stop coughing and sneezing since and shit. And yo ass tweaking like, yo, did this nigga give me something or some shit? Like, what the fuck is popping? <laughs> What is this? You know what I'm saying? It's just like a lot of physical changes are happening. Feminine. Like physical changes. Like with my twin. It was a four hour gap between the time he called me and the time we ended up meeting. And um And, um, you know, I was smiling like the Grinch when I got the call. Like, it was weird. When he called me, I'll break it down more in the next reading. It was like he called, and I was kind of like, like, damn, what do I do? I'm busy right now. I can't really talk to him. You know, do I call back? Can I call back like I couldn't call before? You know what I'm saying? Is the, is the on and off switch off? We're on right now. Like, you know what I mean? So we called each other back and forth between like four hours. And like I say, I finally got to see him. And like I say, once I seen him, it was back to normal. I didn't know how this shit was going to be. I didn't know it was full card. Like, I just didn't know where we left off. I didn't know if it was safe or not. Fuck with this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and then. It was just like, by me not knowing, it made me a little jittery. It made me a little nervous, a little anxiety, because I didn't know what to expect. Yeah, I mean, and, you know, it's mental at the end of the day. Feeling it, you just get a little jitters about a new situation or a new scenario or a few changes. Masculine coming to the situation, he's moving a little juvenile. Making decisions without crossing his T's and dying his eyes mentally, and it's the fear card. This is most of our masculine's main issues right here. 
I just said it's certain shit about the Swift Lane demonstration that they don't like. That they don't appreciate. The fact that you appreciate it. Or that you're shedding light on this particular situation about what y'all got going on that he doesn't want any light showing on. He can be she, she be, you know, we rocking. You know. It's certain things. I call them trigger hot spot buttons. There's a couple trigger words that my mas <laughs> that my masculine did not want to hear. Like soon I said these words and shit, his ass get the tweaking and shit. Like, all right. Like he giving me warnings and shit, like I don't warn you. Stop saying that. I'm just like I don't even know what I'm saying, bro. Like <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, I'm not walking around eggshells with him, but it's just like I'm starting to see triggers. The certain shit he fears, the certain shit he's kinda of scared of. And it comes from him not knowing. You fear what you don't know. And your master's got a lot of fear. And it's because of a lot of shit that they don't know. Feminine, you're the fool because this shit it's just shit you're not aware of. You know what I'm saying? With the masculine, he's in fear because it's like he knows what's going on, but he doesn't know how you're going to react to it. Or he doesn't know to the extent of how far you're going to go in this situation. So, put more smoke on his fear card. I'm making a decision about crossing his teeth and down his eyes. You got the Ten of Wands. It's putting a passion into something. Or ending something he was passionate about. It's a temporary ending. Like I said, the main reason why the Divine Master is making decisions to go across his T's and down his eyes is because he's, he's in fear. What does he fear? The unknown. I told you, Masters are not, not only going to get in the union with you this week, like I said, they're going to step with you on this path. But you got to take the first step, Ace of Swords. You gotta end things to begin things. Something permanently ended to where now you and your twin are allowed to move on one accord. It's best for you to jump in the lead. Because this masculine here, like I said, what he's gonna do is put a passion into this fear. What's gonna make him put a passion into this fear? I don't know, being led. Feminine, you in regards to yourself right now, you in the world, or you're still dealing with worldly energies, four cups, are, uh, it's the world, it's the matrix, it's 3D, it's the plantation, it's the crab bucket, it's where we work, it's where we dwell, it's where we reside, we do reside at home, four wands, two left Zion, we can be in Zion and interchange with the earth at the same time, you know what I mean, you need to know about the world, like I say, it's how you feel about the world, that's why the four cups, our emotions, like cups, our emotions and feelings, all indicators on what mental direction you're going. Because swords and cups go together, the heart and the mind goes together. You know what I mean? So you in the world, and put more smoke on this world energy, feminine. You got the nine of wands in the world. You hurting in the world, or something in the world got you personally hurt. You know what I mean? Put more smoke on this. Eight of Wands. It's something. Okay, Nine of Wands, the wounded warrior. These are wounds. Worldly wounds. That's, like I said, we all got wounds. We all got issues. We all got woes. We all got problems. We all got internal conflict we deal with, as well as external conflict that be in our path. All right? Something in your world, feminine. For a few feminines, not all. There's something in your world, feminine, that got you really, really hurt. Really, really wounded. This is deep-seated wound. This is like some shit from the past. You know, that you're still working on. This you're still dealing with. This is you talking. You're getting some help with it. One thing my masculine was saying a lot when I was talking to him was how I need to go get some therapy. <laughs> nigga like, nigga, you need to go see somebody. You know what I'm saying? You need somebody to talk to. Like, you need a therapist, man. You need to get some help. I ain't saying you crazy. But he was like, nigga, you obviously going through a lot of shit. Like, I've been checking your readings and shit. He was like, you going through some shit. I think you need to get some help with that. How do I get help with my internal conflict? 
Seven of Wands, I eight of Wands. Let's communicate. What am I communicating? My nine of Wands. I'm hurt. I'm communicating my wounds. I'm communicating I need healing. I'm communicating I need help in the world. Because the world's a bitch. Cold blooded ass hoe. You know what I'm saying? And um it can be tough. The world's pretty tough. We gotta get tough on ourselves when we in the world. You know what I mean? If we can't hold things down, who else gonna hold it? If we can't, like I said, we gotta keep our mind sane in the world. That's like fuck keeping your money together in the world. You gotta keep your mind together. Finances, keeping your car together, keeping a job together, like all, we gotta keep things together. I told you that's the two of wands. That's that's making ends meet. That's work. That's how you make ends meet. That's how you pay your bills. You know what I'm saying? Two of wands. But we all got that. That's the struggle. Uh, uh, making ends meet. This is an end. This is an end, and we're making them bitches meet. That's an everyday struggle. That's why making ends meet, and like it's like you take these two things, you put them together, you hold them in one hand, and you free your other hand and do other shit. That's three of one. Having the ability to do that. You're doing that in the world a lot. That's all you do. Make ends meet, you hold meets together while you go out here and do extra shit because it's your job to do so. You know what I'm saying? Eventually you're gonna get tired. Eventually you're gonna wanna break. You know what I mean? And this shit is all mental. Eventually you're gonna wanna break. Make sure you break yourself in there. Make sure you take breaks. Make sure you drink water. Make sure you meditate. Make sure you, I don't know what you already do with a little herbal medicinal thing. You know what I mean? Free, you know what I'm saying? Free scalp. You know what I'm saying? Really. Do what you gotta do to keep a peace of mind out here, because people devalue the peace of mind. People don't really know how valuable a peace of mind is. That's valuable. That's not not valuable, it's valuable. Feminine. You're gonna have to really get some help. You're gonna have to really communicate. If you need help, ask for something. If anything, you know your masculine over where you can find some help. <laughs> Or right direction and shit. Probably a person that they already talked to about you and been trying to get you in to go see. If the motherfucker my twin want me to go see. You know what I mean? Some other shit. But anyway. Masculine, he's a step above you emotionally. You're at the four cups, he's at the five cups. This is the A car, Mr. Lolly car. It's the crap, the hermit car. You know what I mean? Like your masculine is emotionally isolated. Told you. You're the most like minded individual your masculine knows. When your masculine around you, feminine, he feels at home. Ain't too many people he can feel at home with. You know, the problem is, y'all might be back in cahoots, y'all might be back talking, y'all might be back in each other's lives and stuff like that. But it's like y'all still got your own lives, y'all still got separate lives. You still got your demo you had before your masculine hit you up, feminine. That you're still trying to cipher through right now. Your masculine might be ready, but like I said, you might not be. Your masculine might. Not might. Your masculine went through a shitload of growth. You know what I'm saying? They might be ready. You might not be. Let's just say you're not ready. Or, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it was just me and my twin, Joe. Like, like I said, he wanted to get up with me ASAP. I couldn't. I was busy. I had readings to do. Oh, shit. I wanted to holler at him ASAP, too. But it was like, shit, I'm, on, I'm moving on up. I got to have a business first before I do any type of socializing or anything like that. You know what I mean? If things are different. I do deal with my masculine in a different way. I do give him his distance more, mainly because he set the boundaries for that distance. Now, here it is. Like I say, my 10 set of 10 year, I mean, not 10 year, 10 month separational gap between us. Now we back in cahoots and it's like I can call him now but it's like I don't want to be too thirsty. You know, I don't want to blow his shit up. You know what I'm saying? So I'm kind of more distant than it was you know before we was in separation because I just call him at any time but now it's like, like I said Maslin created a lot of boundaries that you still obey. You know? And he, he doesn't like that. He's mad he's created that 
space. You're respecting the space now. He wanted you to respect the space. That's what you're doing. He, it's like he needs to talk and say that he, these boundaries don't mean anything anymore. But you don't know that. That's the type of energy the masculine has. He kind of feels isolated from the way he isolated you. I don't blow my point up at all. I probably will never do that shit anymore. He probably wants me to blow his shit up now. I, I, I ain't doing that. Initiation. I usually hear him up and see what's cracking. I'm not doing that anymore. I'm like, hit me up. If you want to see me, I'll come out of it. Shit has changed. You stiff for me to a point where, like, I'm at a safe distance now. That's what I'm going to stay. Seems like a safe zone. I know I can't fuck up too bad here. Uh, stiff arm away from me. It's like your master's trying to get close. But when he gets close, you bag up because you try to respect those boundaries that he set. And he ain't feeling that too much. Cops, it's emotions. He's the same thing. He ain't feeling that. Especially if your, <laughs> especially if your tone different. If you talk to him different, not down or belittling and shit, it's just different. Same no more. Or right now we got the queen of swords once again, being ten toes the fuck down on a mental direction. That's not. This is him in regards to you. Like I say, he's a hermit because. He loosey lewed you mentally a while ago. Now he's paying for that. Once again, what's the loosey lew energy? That's some shit you're not playing about. I told you, these boundaries, masculine, that you created for your feminine, you set this shit. You told the feminine not to call or pop up or ease up or chill out or whatever the fuck. You know what I mean? These are your demands. You know what I mean? And it's like she finally doing what you told her to do. And now it's a problem. So now, you went from being 10 toes the fuck down on creating this space, to now you gotta be 10 toes the fuck down on eliminating this space. Because the feminine is not gonna do it. You know what I mean? Feminine can't read your mind, do not expect her to, I don't know, know when your walls have went down. Like, you could have your walls down. You could already be trusting and ready to go forward with your twin and shit like that. But like I say, fact of the matter is, you set a few boundaries, and they they there. Unless you give the feminine the memo that these walls aren't erected anymore, she's going to treat them as if they're still there. Courtesy of you. That energy. Feminine, you in regards to the masculine, you got the lovers card. Two people get to know each other. Two people being on one accord. Two people really vibrating on the same frequency. It's what twins in union do. What twins in reunion do. What twins in right condition do. It's back to the, the orbit. That's right. So much as I see my twin, you know what I mean? I see him and it's like, boom. It's like we never left. We back doing this. Fucking machine and machine turned back on. <laughs> yeah. We're the same person. I'm learning that more and more each day. We got the same internal conflict, we got the same woes. You know, we're the same. It's just different. It's a reflection. This is me, this is him. He's waving his right hand in the mirror. I'm raising waving my left hand. Same shit, but different. The left hand I'm waving at, the right hand he waving with. This ring will be on his left hand. If it was, we was looking at each other. It's a reflection. We're the same, but different. I wink my left eye. He winks his right eye back at me. We're the same, but different. Yeah, we looking at each other in the face, but we doing different shit. Yes, he's following me. But the certain moves I'm making in the mirror, life, <laughs> certain moves I'm making, he can't follow suit. It's like, I'll write a word on this window backwards. You know what I'm saying? And expect another person to read it. Maybe from that angle, like I say, some people are dyslexic. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I'll write a word backwards 
it's going to be perceived differently. You know? Like, I put like on the board. But the way I wrote it, it looks like equal. <laughs> like, equal? What's equal? Like, no, it's like. You just got to look at it this way. I wrote it equal so you can read it. You know what I'm saying? It's like writing backwards so a person can see it from their perception. Yes, you're going all out your way writing it backwards, but that's the only way you can clear, communicate a clear message. That's what it is. You're really getting on your line mask on a level. It's a bond. Told you, mask them in the matrix so long, they think that's home. You know what I mean? Forgetting that it's the whole Zion, like, like Zion. Forgetting that Zion is out here and here for him to live and dwell in. You know what I'm saying? Just like you. So, putting more smoke on this lover's car. That's two of cups. It's two people coming together. They didn't know each other. Back in cahoots, we got the King of Pentacles. This is an alchemist. This is a magician. This is a, a master manifester. A person that knows how to manifest whatever it is they want. And this is your energy. This is you in regards to the masculine. I told you, whatever you want with your masculine, you can manifest that. You wanted to see your masculine, boom, it pops up. Wanted to build with your masculine, boom, you got the opportunity to do so. Y'all in codes? Y'all see out of eye right now. Should be no reason why you two can't put y'all brains together and create a mastermind and do something with that mastermind and create something for the kingdom. Gotta pick another card. Hope it's not another red one. That'll be a warning. It's a red one and it's a warning. Feminine. Whatever you want to manifest with your twin. Like King of Pentacles. Whatever you're trying to manifest with your twin. You know, you're coming at it from the lover's perspective. So this looks like a relationship, romantic situation. Or you want things to get more romantic or some shit out y'all demo. It's like warning. Whatever it is you want to manifest with your masculine. You're going to manifest it. But when you manifest it, you're also going to go without it. Warning. Whatever you want to happen with your masculine, it's going to happen. But guaranteed, you're going to go without it. Not forever, but it's going to be times you're going to go without it. You know, this is the energy of like, you buy your son a PlayStation for Christmas. You know, he wanted one. He made sure he was in good graces and did what he had to do to get one. You got him one. And it's like, just because he got one doesn't mean it can't get taken away at any time. It's great slip, you take the game. It's like, hey, we got an agreement. This is how it's supposed to go down. You're not holding in. You're in the bargain. I'm going to have to do what I have to do. I'm going to take that. It's like, it's going to get taken. Not forever, but like I said, you're going to have to... Just because you have a PlayStation don't mean you're going to play that shit all night. Just because you have things don't mean you're going to have them. Like, anything can happen, man. Don't hold on to shit. Enjoy the moment. Enjoy every second, every moment you can cherish with your twin. But at the same time, know that your twin can go at any time. Something can happen that can affect your twin or where your twin can choose to go in another direction. You know, something happened with you to where your twin is going to have to go in a whole other direction. Four Pentacles is all not too tight to some shit. Scared to let that shit go. Five Pentacles is it leaving you. Whether that's you gave it up the way you need to give it up the right way or this is it being taken away from you from you holding it on like a bear claw like feminine when it comes to your masculine. It's like whatever you want from your masculine you're gonna get, but just know you're not gonna be able to have it all day, every day, or have it in a manner you think you're gonna have it. 
You can have anything you want. You will attain it, but it's not. You're not going to be able to have it in the manner you think you're going to be able to have it. That's all I'm saying. Masculine. You in regards to yourself, you got a seven of swords here. This is the secret. And so, cat coming out the bag. You telling the truth about something. You keeping it very one hundred about something. Like you keeping it very. 100 about a particular issue or this is like I say a piece of information falling on your lap or being revealed to you a Decepticon in your life masculine that you're starting to see who what they really are just users this is more smoke on this seven of swords that's letting cats out the bag and like I say not a cup string from so, looks like Divine Masson is going to reveal a deep, dark secret, or maybe a deep, good secret. You know, it's a cat out the bag. It's something that's been on their heart for a while, something that's been on their conscience for a while. They're finally going to get it out. Upon getting this off their chest, upon telling the truth, they're finally going to get a dream come true. Revealing this truth is going to bring on a dream come true. Now, this is the mask and it's only, you know, based on him. I told you, this monkey see, monkey do. You got to tell the truth. You got to seven the swords. You know, tell your master how you really feel. When you two would cup him. You can be a she, she can be a he, you know how we rock it. You tell your master how you really feel when you're around your masculine. Like all your emotions. Try to put it in the best way to tell your masculine how much you love your masculine. How much you cherish them, respect them, love them, admire them. You know, shit like that. You know, by you doing that, it's going to basically teach your masculine to do it too when he needs to do it. You know, one thing my masculine learned with me, he could tell me anything. Why? Because I tell him everything. A twin can tell me anything. Why? Because I can tell him everything. And I do. Cat about to come out the bag. I think it's going to be through the masculine. Shit he's going to reveal to you is only going to give you the understanding you've been looking for. The closure you've been looking for. The healing you've been looking for. So you can definitely... Move forward for the future realm. With the Queen of Cups, this is powers, dreams, visions, signs, synchronicities. You know, show power. Divine feminine, all feminines have powers. It's wise to get in tune with these powers, tap into these powers. Feminine, you're tapping into your power. And how you're tapping into your power is by overcoming the Four Pentacles process. Like I said, you ended up in the Five of Pentacles, overcoming the Four of Pentacles process. Four of Pentacles is holding on too tight to some shit, or being scared to let go of some shit. Five of Pentacles is going without that. I told you, whatever you manifest with your masculine, you're going to be able to have it, but you're not going to be able to have it all the time. You know. One thing you're going to get revealed, it's like you're going to have a flashback or a vision or a dream at a point when you was at the Four of Pentacles, when you was holding on to your pen, I mean your masculine too hard, when you was holding on to a delusion, to a, holding on to a lie, or holding on to just something that wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? It's like now you're starting to see full circle exactly what you're holding on to, exactly what you stand for, and exactly what you got standing with you. Masculine going to the future, he's got the pain card for your swords. This is past the point of no return. No going back. Ace of Swords. It's only one right away. That's the direction we need to be going. Two of Swords. That's thinking you got options when you don't. There's only one right way in life. There's only one. This is left, right? There's only one right way in life. You know. You tweak yourself thinking there's another way, but there's other options. There's not. Then you're going to get to the Three of Swords, which is doubling up. Going past the point of no return. Ain't nowhere to go but forward. There's nothing to go back here. It's pain. It's 
You know, yeah, it's just painful when you go past the point of return. Things aren't going to be the same anymore. You're not going to have a home anymore. You're not going to have that job you had anymore. You're not going to be in that location you was in. Like, my shit is different. And it's painful because the shit is different, but, you know, with pains, there's change. Put more smoke on this three of swords. Pain card, we got the King of Wands. I say masculine, this pain ain't gonna do nothing but make you stronger. Going past the point of no return, like having blind and utter fate, blind and utter fate in your feminine ain't gonna do nothing but make you a better person, a better masculine, a stronger masculine, a wiser masculine, a more mature masculine, a more grateful masculine, a more understanding masculine. Everything happens for a reason. It hurts. <laughs> but it's only for the better. My master, what you gotta say in the fourth and fifth dimension? Three of Pentacles. You and your master do some shit. Your master trying to build with you. It's almost like your master got an idea. It's almost like your master trying to do something in particular. I told you, feminine, you're the leader of this expedition. You need to be leading, but check, see what he's talking about. You know what I mean? It might, and and and. and and you might have to include that in the whole plan. You know what I mean? Maybe your master got it's like you came up with something ethical. <laughs> For more smoke on that, we got the Queen of Pentacles. Like I say, it's like your master got a plan and he wants you to be the boss of it. He wants to be the King of Pentacles, but you're the King of Pentacles. Master just wants to be the boss. Like, I want to build with you, but I know you lead the expedition, but at least give me a nice, tight title so it don't make it seem like I'm your secretary. I don't want to be like your secretary. Give me a raw-ass title like assistant administrator or, you know, administrative assistant or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Things like that. The rascal adores you. He loves what he's doing now with you, but he just kind of wants... A little respect on his name <laughs> why he's like baby stepping himself into this whole process. Feminine, what you gotta say? To the Pentacles, you're saying it's all good. Me and you are finally where we need to be in the garden. We got work to do. You know, training. You know what I'm saying? You have to understand a lot of things. Like, we got some catching up to do. Like, we got some building to do. Like, I've been sitting in this chamber, uh, tilling this garden without you for a long time. You know what I'm saying? It's like, now I got you here. You're going to do what I do in here. It's work to be done. It's all good, but it's work to be done. That's what the wife is saying. Clarifying that, we got the ace of pentacles. You know, it's time to take shit to the next level. It's all good, me and you together, but once again, <laughs> We got to manifest something after this. Like, now that we found love, what are we going to do with it? Like, we're going to have to take shit to the next level. This is two pinnacle, pinnacle, being fused together into one. Grooming. Knight of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles plus Ace of Pentacles. That's Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is grooming. That's being in a position to learn some shit or being in a position to teach some shit. Two of you need to become one. How do you two become one? <laughs> it's going to take some work. It's going to take some understanding. It's going to take some positioning. It's going to take a few actions, but it ain't that complex. Final word, final message here. Eight of Cups. Enterprise, enterprise, enterprise. Pat of the bell card. Divine feminine, divine masculine. Y'all are in a position for where y'all can enterprise together, do it. You can't lose. Once again, female, you're the director here. Make sure, I mean, you're feminine. Make sure you're leading. Make sure you direct it. Make sure you're on your P's and Q's and care. Just to keep your integrity up. Just making sure that nobody got nothing on you. People ain't throwing dirt on your name. People ain't talking about you at all because, like I said, you handling your business in a, way, in a way to where your actions speak for itself. You don't have to prove anything. Congrats to those that's back in reunion. Congrats to those that's back in, you know, 
that's been in union, you know what I mean? Congrats to those that finally can recognize it. It's a lot of work to be done. Make sure y'all present to do it. Y'all both got to be in attendance. That's the message I got. I hope I can be a good use. It's your boy, D-Bone. Stay tuned for these readings. One.